Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to give two more examples related to the implementation of implicit differentiation. Alright, so let's start off with question A here. And in order to find y prime, this is actually the same thing as dy dx, where y here is the independent variable and x is the dependent variable yeah okay so the first step is to differentiate both equation with respect to x and here we have x cubed plus y cubed and on the right side we have 6xy okay so the next step is we can separate the terms here so we can have the derivative of x cubed plus this one is we're going to find the derivative for y cubed here is a constant you can take it out so 6 xy okay now this part here is straightforward and the result is going to be equal to 3x squared alright plus this here requires the implementation of chain rule method okay so we are going to consider this to be the outer function and so if you differentiate this you will get 3y squared we're going to multiply that with the result of differentiating this inner function y is a function if you differentiate that with respect to x the result is going to be equal to dy dx okay now this part here um, we can assume x to be um, equal to f and y is g and we can apply the formula which is fg prime plus gf prime in order to find the derivative of this function okay so on that right hand side is going to equal to 6 okay, 6 and here we will have f f is x we differentiate g so we differentiate y y is a function so it becomes dy dx plus this one g is equal to y and if we differentiate x the result is going to be equal to y times y okay and we're going to simplify that so it becomes 3x squared plus 3y squared dy dx and here is 6x dy dx plus 6y and I'm going to group dy dx together on the left hand side of the equation so you will have 3y squared dy dx minus 6x dy dx is equal to 6y minus 3x squared now dy dx can be factored out so that becomes dy dx and here the results here is going to be 3y squared minus 6 6x is equal to 6y minus 3x squared all right um we can simplify that process with the next step which is going to be finding what dy dx is so therefore dy dx is going to be equal to 6y minus 3x squared over 3y squared minus 6x and if you want you can factor 3 out so here we will get 3 2y minus x squared over 3 y squared minus 2x and we know that we can cancel out 
this part here and the y answer is going to be 2y minus x squared over y squared minus 2x okay um, All right, so that's the answer. Okay, so now let's move on to question B, and I'm just going to erase all ink on this right here. So for question B, we have this function, and we're going to start off by differentiating um, each equation, each side of the equation with respect to x this is equal to this one y squared times cosine of x and um, for this part here we're going to consider implementing the chain rule method so this is the outer function and if you uh, differentiate this the result is going to be equal to cosine of x plus y and we're going to multiply that with the result of differentiating the inner function so this is the inner function and i'm just going to write it somewhere here the process of differentiating x plus y and the result is going to be equal to if you differentiate x the result is going to be equal to y plus if you differentiate y y is a function it is unknown so the derivative of that is going to be dy dx okay so that's the result we're going to multiply this result with cosine of x plus y so here we have the result which is y plus dy dx yeah okay so next is um this is equal to Alright, for this part here, we are going to consider um, this one here to be equal to f and this part here to be equal to g and we're going to apply the formula which is um, fg prime plus gf prime in order to find the derivative for this function here. Okay, so the result is going to be equal to, well, here is f, which is y squared. When we differentiate this one, the result is negative sine x plus g is this one, cosine of x. And if you differentiate this one, we're going to apply the chain rule method. This is the outer function. So if you differentiate that, you will get 2y. And we're going to multiply with the derivative of the inner function, which is this one. So the result is dy dx. Okay, so that is the process. And we're just going to simplify the whole loop given here. So here we have cosine x plus y times with y plus cosine x plus y dy dx yeah? and in this part we have negative y squared sine x plus 2y cos x so here we have dy dx and we're going to group dy dx together so what we have next is cosine x plus y dy dx minus 2y cos sine of x dy dx now this is equal to negative y squared sine x minus cos sine of x plus y okay as you can see that this can be factored out so what we have is we will have dy dx is equal to cosine x plus y minus 2y cosine of x 
this is equal to negative y squared sine of x minus cosine of x plus y. And we can write down what is dy dx. So therefore, dy dx is just negative y squared sine x minus cosine of x plus y over negative 2y cosine of x plus cos of x plus y. Now, if you want, you can factor negative 1 out. So, if you factor negative 1 out, that becomes um, negative 1 y squared sine x plus cosine of x plus y over negative 1 2y cosine of x minus cosine of x plus y and because of that you can cancel out negative 1 and negative 1 so the final answer is going to look like this so we have y squared sine x plus cosine of x plus y and at the bottom here we have 2y cosine of x minus cosine of x plus y okay that's all for now thank you very much for watching